Aloha. You're watching F5 On Demand. And welcome to In 5 Minutes or Less with Peter Silva. And today I'm going to show you In 5 Minutes or Less some of the new features available in Enterprise Manager version 3.0. So in addition to supporting Big IP version 11.2, the EM30 release provides some key new capabilities that will help customers monitor and understand application performance across all Big IP devices. It simplifies and automates the management of their F5 ADN infrastructure. So let's start the clock. So I've logged on to a EM3.0 so the first thing I want to show you is the new centralized analytics module. And so this enables customers to monitor and understand application performance across multiple data centers by providing a single view of relevant statistics. And so the first place I want to go is device management and device groups. You can see I was already there. And so either you can click this create button over here or just the plus button here to create a device group. And so in 5M, you can see I was practicing group and just take that one. And then you'll have all of your big IP devices that are being managed by Enterprise Manager here in the available box. And you would just swing them over into the includes box, however many you want to take a look at and just click finished. And you have a new device group built out. To then be able to go up into statistics, analytics, and get the information from there. This is a dev box, so there's nothing going through it right now. That's why you don't see any records to display. And so next, we want to check out the iHealth integration. And so we've now integrated the F5 iHealth into Enterprise Manager, which allows organizations to then... Um, schedule the iHealth process and also then obviously get centralized reporting of iHealth across your entire F5 deployment. And so here are devices, you can see the devices in the background, iHealth Diagnostics. And so here is just a your ability to then update right at, right at this time. So you want to find out what's going on with the devices. You can see here over to the, to the right issues identified, none. Um, and here with this one, this particular self, this particular unit, you can see there's one, I believe that's critical, and three informational. And so you can click update, and that'll then go through and uh, do iHealth for all of those devices. And so here, device list, all devices, put in your diagnostics, so your iHealth credentials here, and then uh, make your selection here of any device filters. You select that and click next then it'll go through but you can see here username and password I forgot mine so I would have put them in there's another way to do this however you can automate the task and so here under tasks you can go to schedules and then schedule iHealth diagnostics now there's a purpose why I didn't put in my credentials and so here in the diagnostic schedule you're able to then collect the diagnostics on a you know weekly monthly basis you can select the day of the week and the time. Uh, these are the devices that are available, and so you just swing those over into available uh, for the devices, and then any device lists that are available. And the reason I didn't put in the credentials is Big IP now offers a lot of information for administrators if they might be missing something. And so here, the scheduled iHealth task will not run if the default credentials are not set. So that lets you know that you still need to put in your credentials. And then finally, we got multi-device configuration comparison. And this is kind of cool. You should just go under tasks again, and then you would create, go to your task list. And here are all the tasks that are set up uh, on this particular device. Some are finished, some are not. And so you would just do new task. And a wizard opens, and now you're able to select whether you want a software installation. Um, update attack signatures, discover devices, license them, certain configurations for templates or change sets, user access, support, descriptions here you can hear, you can gather iHealth diagnostics. But in this particular situation, we want to compare archive. And we just go next. 
And so this starts the new task. You would check device list and whatever devices you want to do. So maybe we add that one. And so current configuration. Nope, no, we want to do against the current configuration. Click next. And then what other box do you want to compare it to? So maybe this one, next. And then you start the task. And so as this is running, we're starting to run out of time here a little bit, which is cool. I can go over just by a few seconds, can't I? It'll refresh. Oh, and it's finished. There you go. Almost right on time. And so now we can see the task summary and the comparisons here on the right. Some are modified, some are dele deleted. Let's just take a look here. And now you can see the comparison between that particular box, what was modified, any other things that were deleted. So you can see I deleted that group earlier, shows up here with the current config versus the previous config. And so there you have it. Some of the new, very cool features available in Enterprise Manager version 3.0, enabling you to get a greater understanding of your applications within your F5 ADN infrastructure. So thanks for watching. This is Peter Silva for F5 Networks. Visit us online at www.f5.com and follow us on Twitter at F5 Networks. Have a great day.